Have you ever wondered what would happen if two of the most dangerous animals decided to have a child? From massive giant crocodiles to killer bees, here are 9 of the most dangerous hybrid animals to ever exist in the world. Number 9. Beefalo The first entry on our list is a cross between American bison and several domestic cattle breeds known as beefalo, or sometimes known as cattalo. These animals with traits of both bison and cattle were initially created by accident during the 18th century. Unlike domestic buffaloes, these hybrid beefalo can live in difficult climates, with less food and less money invested. It also yields higher quality meat. However, these animals are extremely difficult to control and tame. This animal has the potential to be violent and cause a significant injury. If you see this animal, do not approach this animal and call 911. Number 8. Kai Wolves In the wild, wolves usually kill coyotes upon spotting them. But what if they breed among themselves to produce a hybrid? Kai Wolves are a type of mammal hybridized from western coyotes and eastern wolves. The first Kai Wolf was discovered in southern Ontario at the beginning of the century. But it wasn't until 1969 that it was formally named. Today, Kai Wolf can be found in the northeastern United States and southeastern Canada. It can be found in grassy plains, wooded areas, ravines, and areas near streams. Kai Wolves have a large skull, powerful jaws, short round ears, long legs, and a powerful wolf-like body. Kai Wolves are thought to be among the smartest animals on the earth. Contrary to popular belief, these Kai Wolves are not a threat to humans. They share the shyness of their cousin coyotes and avoid human interaction in general. If you detect an animal approaching too closely, raise your hands and make a noise or whistle. But keep in mind if you ever run into one, refrain from turning back and running. Number 7. The Iron Age Pig The Iron Age Pig is a cross between a domestic pig and a wild boar. It was given this name because the breeders wanted to make a pig that looked like those found during the Iron Age. So how did they manage to pull this off? They made it a male wild boar with a female domestic pig. The result was a pig that is tamer than a wild boar but not as easily handled as the domestic pig. Unfortunately, this animal's fate is typically that of a specialty sausage. Iron Age pigs are generally only raised in Europe and are bred primarily for the specialty meat market. Yep, that's right folks, people crossbreed these two sorts of pigs to make money. The young piglets have stripes when they are born which disappear over time. Some of these hybrids go on to have successful careers as Hollywood movie stars. The Iron Age pigs are called in when the directors want a wild boar but can't handle its aggressive attitude. Number 6. The American Pitbull Terrier Pitbulls were bred in the United Kingdom for a brutal lifestyle. To produce powerfully built dogs for fighting, the bulldog was mixed with either the white English Terrier or the black and tan Terrier. The majority of pit bulls are joyful, gentle, and tolerant with all of their family members. But this is not always the case. Because they were raised to be strong and intimidating, the American Pit Bull Terrier has a reputation for being dangerous and violent. The squad's strong Pit Bull Terrier has been the target of debate more than any other dog over the years. The Dangerous Dogs Act of 1991 made it illegal to own or breed pit bulls in the United Kingdom, and it's not the only country that has banned them. Pit bulls were banned in the United Kingdom in 1991 after a series of instances involving brutal, often unprovoked attacks on humans by this breed of dog. However, several other breeds like German Shepherds, Rottweilers, and Dobermans have similar traits, but they are not banned. Number 5. Liger since a liger is a combination of a lion and a tiger, it inherits numerous characteristics from both parents. It's the result of mating between a male lion and a female tiger. This indicates that liger's parents are of distinct species yet belong to the same genus. The liger inherits significantly more characteristics from its lion father than it does from its tiger parent. Ligers are only found in captivity now since their parental species' habitats do not overlap in the wild. They don't usually cross paths in the wild and are not interested in each other. Crossbreeding is believed to occur only in exceptional conditions, such as when a species is trapped in captivity and no other partners are available. Ligers are more lion-like than tiger-like. They're big and muscly, and male ligers have a mane like lions. They have large heads and dark tawny fur. 
they often get their mother's faint tiger stripes. Ligers, like tigers, enjoy swimming, and they are also highly sociable, much like lions. The roar of a liger is similar to that of a lion. However, there are times when the liger's roar resembles that of a tiger. But in terms of height, ligers take their path. They grow to be far larger than either of the parent cats. With males reaching lengths of up to 12 feet, ligers are the biggest cat known to mankind. Of course, this enormous size comes with a few drawbacks, the most serious of which is a higher rate of injury as compared to purely bred lions and tigers. This is one of the main reasons why animals rights groups oppose the breeding of ligers. And think to yourself how dangerous this animal can be when both of the parents are equally violent and ferocious in the wild. Number 4. Tigon The next entry on our list is also a hybrid between a lion and a tiger. But here, the parents' genders are swamped. Tigon is born when a male tiger and a female lion mate with each other. Though tigons and ligers are both hybrids of lions and tigers, they are quite different from each other. Tigons are much smaller than ligers and so have lower popularity. Ligers and tigons are born in zoos or through artificial insemination because they do not mate in the wild. Today, there are only a few tigons left on the planet. Tigons are aggressive animals. They show conflicting behavioral characteristics since lions are very social and tigers are loners. This can cause depression in tigons. The genetic makeup of tigons has components of both parents. They can have both the mother's and father's aesthetic visuals. They get spots from the mother's side and stripes from the father. They can growl like their father and roar like their mother's. And they adore swimming and spending time in the sea. Many people believe that tigons are smaller than lions or tigers. They do not grow to the size of their parent species due to growth inhibitory genes inherited from the lioness mother, but they do not show any signs of dwarfism. Tigons live for a shorter time than tigers or lions. They are also more vulnerable to diseases such as cancer. Their exact lifespan is unknown. However, it's shorter than that of lions or tigers. As you can see, Interfering with nature serves no purpose. The majority of scientists oppose animal testing because it causes species disturbance. Secondly, because tigons are too little to compete with other big cats in the wild, they are unable to survive. Number 3. Growler Bears Growler bears are a hybrid bear species that resulted from the crossbreeding of grizzly and polar bears. Because of global climate change and melting ice on the polar caps, the geographic distributions of grizzly bears and polar bears are beginning to overlap. Today, polar bears and grizzly bears frequently cross paths on the Tundra Sea border in Alaska and the northern sections of Canada. In 2006, the first growler bear was spotted in the wild. Despite the possibility that many more growler bears have been born since then, only three examples have been scientifically established via DNA testing. Experts claim that they act more like polar bears, but their bodies have characteristics of both parents, which may not be a good thing given that polar bear behavior can be unpredictable and has been known to kill people. Growler bears hunt in the same way that polar bears do. It uses its feet to break through the ice in search of seals, which are its favorite food. Number 2. Salty Siamese Crocs The next entry on our list will surely give you nightmares. Saltwater crocodiles are the world's largest extant reptiles, reaching over 20 feet long and weighing more than 2,300 pounds. Siamese crocs are much smaller, weighing about 800 pounds and measuring 13 feet long at their biggest. When these species interbreed, it's easy to tell which parent the offspring resembles the most. Depending on nature, hybrids can be massive monsters weighing about 2,400 pounds and measuring 20 feet long. A croc that huge can't help but to appear dangerous. Did you know that some of these hybrids have a bite force of 5,000 pounds and a pressure per square inch of 2,200 kilograms? When it comes to finding prey, salty Siamese crocs are opportunistic. They don't actively chase their prey. Instead, they surprise them with their incredible speed and strength. Salty Siamese crocs have a reputation for being one of the world's most violent species as adults. Number 1. Killer Bees In the 1950s, there was a plan to produce more honey by crossbreeding the African honeybee with its European counterpart labeled Africanized bees. The insects were first introduced in 1956 in Brazil. 
After a year, 26 swarms of them managed to get out of quarantine. After that, the bees expanded throughout South America. They landed in North America in the mid-1980s and established permanent colonies in the United States. They're known for being aggressive and can assemble massive swarms to hunt, after a perceived threat for more than 1,600 feet. While their venom isn't so potent, they can deliver 10 times more stings than their European cousins. Their killer nickname refers to the hybrid's reputation for killing over 1,000 humans. This brings our video to an end. Please like and subscribe to our channel and smack that bell icon to receive the latest updates from our channel. And tell us in the comments if you've ever seen any of these unusual animals.